Jane for Less Fashion and I am back with another video for you guys. So I'm so excited because today's video is the first Christmassy video of my Christmas series of this year and I'm so excited because I love Christmas so much and as you can see the tree is up. Well you can kind of see it. It is up and gifts are out and I'm so excited. But yes today is the first Christmassy video of the year and this is the start of the Jane for Less Fashion Christmas series. So today's video is a DIY on how to make your own couple -y sweater or matching sweater. So I did a couple Mickey and Minnie sweater inspired by Tumblr of course. And I actually made one for my boyfriend and I back when we were 16 I believe. And now I'm making another one but this time it's for my brother and his girlfriend. So if you are watching Richard or Dania, I suggest you exit out of the page because I don't really want you to watch the video because it has your gifts in it. But yes. Um, yeah, basically today's video is how to be like really a really annoying couple <laughs> and matching clothing. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed, so let's just jump right into it. Alright, so some materials you're going to need for today's DIY are two sweaters, a pencil and paper, a sewing kit, so that means needle, thread, pins, all that fun stuff, a circular object, I'm using a tube, and some felt, so red, black, and white. A reference photo, so I just found mine off of Google. And of course, some scissors. Alrighty, so let's get started. So you wanna grab your reference picture just to have it handy, and a blank piece of paper, and your circular object. You're gonna roughly sketch out the outside of your circular object, and roughly freehand some ears, Mickey Mouse ears preferred. Um, you don't have to freehand it of course, but I decided to. And you want to cut that away. Once you're done cutting, you want to pin it onto some black felt, and you also want to cut that away as well. And now you got yourself a cute little Mickey silhouette, and you want to make it perfect, so just start fixing it up. And now you want to repeat the exact same steps with the circular object and tracing it out, all that fun stuff. But this time you want to draw a half circle within that circular shape and cut that out and pin that onto some red felt. And obviously all you want to do here is cut that away as well. So those are Mickey's shorts. <laughs> and if you have some buttons, you can go ahead and stick those on and there you go. Or you can obviously cut out some really cute small circles out of white felt and call it a day. Anyways, you want to repeat the exact same steps for Minnie, so you draw out Mickey's silhouette, and this time you add a bow. So I freehanded it, but you don't have to, I'm sure there's a stencil online. But now all you want to do is cut it out and stick that onto some black felt and cut away. And now you got yourself a little Minnie Mouse silhouette. And if you want to make sure it's perfect, you can go ahead, go, go ahead and fix it up. And again, you're repeating the exact same steps with the half circle and red felt. Cut that out and you got yourself a little skirt for Minnie. So now you want to cut out the bow that you just drew on the piece of paper so that we can use it as a stencil again. So once you cut out the bow, you want to draw a smaller bow within the big bow that you just cut out. And now you want to pin that onto some red felt and start cutting away once again. And there you go, you have yourself a little bow. And now you have Mickey and Minnie. All the pieces are ready and now you get to sew. Now you don't have to sew. I'm choosing to hand sew everything just because I prefer hand sewing, but you can totally use fabric glue, hot glue, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm just gonna hand sew everything together just because I trust sewing a little bit more than I do glue, I guess. So I'm just sewing on the buttons to Mickey's shorts and then I'm gonna sew on the shorts onto Mickey. And basically you want to repeat the exact same steps for Minnie Mouse. Um, Minnie Mouse has a little bit 
of a more tedious process because Minnie has a bunch of polka dots on her dress. So that's a little bit um, a pain in the butt, I guess. <laughs> so what you want to do for Minnie Mouse is you want to cut out a bunch of small circles to put on her dress and her bow. And I know it's so tedious and it's such a pain, but trust me girl, it looks so good once it's all together and it's worth it, just trust me. <laughs> and basically, you do the exact same steps. Um, you basically sew everything together or glue everything together. So I am sewing everything together, so I sewed every single dot on her dress and her bow, but it looks good, trust me. <laughs> so I hand sewed everything on, so I hand sewed the dots first onto her bow and her skirt, and I am going to hand sew it on to the silhouette itself. And now, once you're done sewing everything together, all the pieces together, you just want to sew it onto the sweater. And again, I'm just hand sewing it. Obviously, you can use hot glue or fiber glue if you prefer to, prefer to do that. And I am done mini, and I'm repeating the exact same steps for Mickey and just hand sewing him on as well, doing the classic weaving in and out of the fabric, you feel me? <laughs> but yes, that is all for today's little DIY. video I hope you guys enjoyed it because I definitely loved how it turned out it was so fun to film I haven't done a DIY video in so long I barely remember how to DIY but it all came together it's all good in the hood and the intro was so fun to make with Weston um, it was fun dancing with him <laughs> even though it's really really awkward but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it if you do leave a thumbs up or a comment and yeah I hope you guys are excited for this year's Christmas series because you know I am Alright, have a wonderful week guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!